Hello everyone, welcome back to Journey Beyond the Abyss. So, today is probably just going to be a bit more grinding, working our way on up to the Carpenter. Yep, nothing for it but to just get back into it. Although, I guess we could do the quest progression leading up to it. Yeah, that might be wise. So, to make a piston, we're going to need one of these... Where, where were they? I could have sworn that I had a bunch of these already made. Did I use them up already? Did I use them all up on the Scribes Workshop? I guess I must have. So, let's make some more of them. So, first I'm going to need a couple of redstone engineering blocks. And... Yes, yeah, so let's just take all that off. Keep the carpenter on there just as a reminder of what our goal is. In the meantime... Our current goal is... A couple of engineering blocks to make a piston just for the sake of the quest progression come on game it's a bit early for that now because yes we're gonna need one of each to make the piston so the redstone blocks are just a bunch of redstone it's uh, 8 12 per hmm so 24 to make two because yeah I do want to make two crafts of it I think then I think it was eight of these, two of these, yes, 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 and 16 regular old iron. Getting a bit expensive up in here, oh boy. We can swing it for now, but I don't know much. how much longer. Well, we just have to keep that in mind. And yeah, yeah, I'm going to want to make, yeah, just one. Okay, so three, six, eight of those per craft. As well as eight of those. I might have to go raiding out for the loot chests just in order to gather up gears more easily. One of those. I'm probably going to have these mem these uh, amounts memorized for far too long because we're going to have to make a ton of these. And da, 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 da. what am I missing? Oh, I'm missing the right workshop. I misclicked. <laughs> there we are. So, with one of those and one of those, as well as the usual four cobble and three wood. You can get yourself what this pack is excusing as a, a reasonable cost for a piston. I don't think I'm going to be making any really complex custom piston devices anytime soon. I'm not going to be making myself a world eater or anything like that. That's probably for the best, to be honest. Oh, wait, no. This would be in the engineering, I imagine. Just for the sake of having it and for quest advancement, we'll need it for, um... Well, we'll need bunches of pistons for bunches of things. Next. Make a lectrum. Okay, that's easy. That is just... Some gold, and I should have some silver. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I have a big order of stuff in there. I don't think gold or silver alloys with either iron or steel. Yeah, I don't think Ang Malin is anywhere in this pack. That's one that usually kills me in, in packs that have it. I think that's an alloy of iron and gold. And it's usually very unwanted. But I don't think we'll have any issue. Yeah. There we go. And yeah, that just made... what? Oh. Oh, right. This is still pouring out. Huh. It poured out through loading screens. That's interesting. Well, that's no problem. We can just melt those electrum plates down. Why is that on? Actually, if I turn that on, is that going to trigger the redstone 
No. That was, however, a stupid move. Oh, well. We'll just return one block of iron from whence it came, I guess. Forgive the slight derp, it's been a day. I had trouble editing an episode of uh, Breath Edge. Uh, I was still using Shadow Play to record Breath Edge, and clearly that was a mistake. Shadow Play just has no, no value as a piece of software. I'm very disappointed in it. It had a strong start. It behaved itself for a while, but once it started displaying problems, it just kept displaying more and more of them. So yes, OBS will be used to record everything, even though I can't separate my audio channels out anymore. At least I don't know how to in OBS. And so I won't be able to update my weight, please. I won't be able to edit my audio in Audacity, but I think that I've essentially been using uh, JBTA to kind of hone in on my OBS settings and my mic positioning bit by bit, get my uh, live performance a little bit better a little bit at a time, and I think I'm getting it to be sounding uh, pretty good. I, I think that... Uh, I think that I at least don't sound offensive. At least not what I'm not trying to be. And... Yeah. I believe that I won't have any trouble just using OBS as my recording instrument du jour. In any case. So, with Electrum... Now we need to make heavy engineering blocks and we need to make kinetic dynamos. Well, we can steal a kinetic dynamo. If we just happen to mosey on down to uh, near the farmland, I think I pointed this out quite a while ago when I was doing one of my farmer impressions down there. that uh, they have a bit of equipment that they aren't using quite right. And we need to... We need to take it for their... Oh, that's right. I need to make pollution filters for you guys. Yeah. At one point, didn't I have a bunch of iron bars lined up on the blacksmithing shop and I was wondering why? Yeah, I think I remember that happening. And uh, now I think I know why. Yeah, they have so many quarries. Not to mention the glazier. But yes, over here, that is a windmill, an immersive engineering windmill, that is hooked to an immersive engineering kinetic dynamo. And to nothing else. And isn't that just a sin? Let's correct their flaw and make a more appropriate use and we forgot to light the inside of the barn, but it's beyond our lighting line anyway. I think I've noticed that too. Yes. I think at one point I'm going to have to come by and I'm going to have to uh, hire a couple of likely lads and I'm going to have to use them as distraction bait while I go down and I lay down some powered lanterns across the fence of the farmland and then start venturing into the forest. See if we can get... Weeping Angels to be a thing that just does not belong in this world, period. That might be a nice thing to happen. Huh. Why, why you know? Let's hold on to this for a little while until we figure out why the quest isn't. I guess that maybe I need to pick up my one of my bronze gears first. Uh, and then I need to make a heavy engineering block. That must be it. Okay, let's just put you and you in there. And let's make us a heavy engineering block. Why not? I guess let's put the 
book over here for now. This will be kind of all of our engineering blocks, our pistons, our mechanical pieces. Okay, so heavy engineering. I think I need some of these for the carpenter anyway. Yeah. Yeah. I need five of them in total, so that means two crafts of heavy engineering blocks is what I need. And that's going to require a lot more pistons. So that's going to need a little bit more uh, redstone blocks. That's going to need a little bit more redstone. I am going to have to do a journey into the abyss to pick up some redstone blocks pretty shortly. Kind of halfway hoping that I have enough. Didn't I pick up some cinnabar? Like, didn't I silk touch some cinnabar out of one of the ships? Maybe. If I did, I'm not recognizing it. In any case, eh, let's just pick up all the redstone. I need to make some more iron ingots. And of course, I need my mechanical parts. And what else goes into a redstone engineering block? Copper. Piece of copper fur. And just make as many as I can. Which is four, apparently, just because I have out of redstone. And no way that's going to be enough to get me all the way up to a carpenter. Yeah. So we need to do a journey into the abyss at one point. Just for more redstone. But that's okay. That's kind of expected. Would it be worth burning all these wood chips? Probably not. It is, however, time to start burning some more logs. Definitely want to keep the charcoal building whenever possible. Maybe I should build the pit burner a bit bigger. Maybe. Mm hmm. Okay, so we have some redstone engineering blocks. We have no real... Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna need to... Okay, gonna need to make some more light engineering blocks, and that's gonna need some more of those copper gears, so it's time to go raiding out onto the ships. Wait, shoot, did I just accidentally turn it night instead of day? Turn back to day, please. Thank you. So... I don't know if there's a way to... What are the signs of the sailboats on? Ah, that's what we're after. Got the fancy pants on me, right? But I maybe don't want to... I do need some torches, because I want to kind of save the area as I go. So that's a nice, easy craft for us to do, real quick. Just easy as that. And let's a go. Yes. This is the easiest way to achieve gears right now. I could be smelting more copper, but that would mean getting more copper because we've kind of smelted everything down into ingots at the moment. And we are going to need those ingots. We're probably going to need more ingots than that. 
Yes, with my aqua dynamic pants, if I hit shift to sneak and drink water, I pretty much immediately just hit the sea floor. It's kind of hilarious. Okay, so F7 mode, start poking holes in the side. That was a set of gears, wasn't it? Yep. Very frequent drop from the iron level of reward chests. Honestly, I can probably just take out the whole side of the ship faster than what I'm doing. If a little bit more uh, dangerous for the fact that it brings me close to the sides. But that'll give us a few blocks to... Well, we need to take out this one too. There, that's probably a bit safer to do it kind of underwater. Yeah, and that gives us a nice collection of these kind of ugly factory blocks to just build out a little platform and work our way up to the top. Oh, gears. Get those before they despawn. And up we go. Up and over. Now just kind of light up the lower decks. And it's all just in, in the name of avoiding doing any actual combat, because you've seen I'm not good at actual combat. But so long as we're careful about how we move, and so long as we remember to uh, just poke as many sun holes as we can, and then despawn what exists, we should be able to, by and large, avoid the problem. And let's give that a try and see how that does. Yep. That is how I fight. I use infrastructure to build my way around the problem. Infrastructure and uh, spawning mechanics. And it would seem we have a successful case. Lovely. You know what? Let's just make it easier on me because I'm failing. There we go. And just to be double extra sure, let's go through. I mean, it, this isn't like a mining target. It's not like I'll be back to this ship. Just get rid of any red squares and it's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so let's start a looting. Yes, yeah, so we're going to get lots of bronze gears, lots of copper gears, a little bit of redstone. All generally useful stuff for this stage. And I am all about that. Let's put the fancy pants back on now that the danger is by and large past. I'm honestly not sure if tin gears are used for anything before we get into thermal dynamics. I mean, at least that would be conventional thermal dynamics. It's probably not used for thermal dynamics in this pack. Or maybe it is. Who knows? Yep. 
I should have gone through and properly safed the entire ship, I suppose. Oh well. So long as we're a bit careful, it's not a huge issue. There we go. And that, by and large, should have the ship safe. And thus all its wonderful loot is ours. I mean, it was already ours by right. This is just uh, making the de jure the de facto. Honestly, I'm not too impressed with the amount of copper gears I'm getting. I was hoping for a higher ratio of those. It looks like, yeah, I'm mostly getting bronze and tin and lesser used gears. Hmm. Well, I think, let's see, loot crates. Yeah, it's industrial age rewards, which I think would be, well... Hmm. Yeah. It's not saying for lucky blocks, I don't think. Now, is there more in here? No. So, honestly, this ship was a bit of a dud, I think. I mean, I don't think these things ever drop gears, do they? No. They seem to drop peasantly things. Well, that's unfortunate. And I guess the fact that I at least mined up some of the crates will mark this one as a, a ship that has been mined. So that's nice. Let's just get rid of some of the stuff. Yes. Creeper heart, is that useful for anything? Not that I can tell, but I'll keep it anyway just in case it's useful later. Those iron coins I don't think I'm gonna churn in. Not that many of them. And good. Oh yeah. Also, the purse. Just for all the deniers we picked up, money's money, and money is ultimately life. Even if I can easily cheese myself some money now. Well, it's not super easily. It's a little bit of a trip getting to the village of cheese. And I guess that if I get to the point that I need the cheese, then that's my punishment, is having to make that long boat trip to go to it. It's discouraging, and it's... it, uh... It, it's discouraging... Uh, complacency. Yes, that's the word. It's discouraging me from starting to waste lives. Or money. So yeah, these tin gears aren't you used for much of anything that I can do right now. Eh, forestry rainmaker. Multi-block farm stuff. Hmm. Do I have any uses for the turntable? I'll have to think on that one. Okay, so I think I might have to move these gears out of the box because they're just not very useful to me at the moment. Okay. Da, da, da. Eh, put them in there. Okay, and I can at least craft up a few more redstone blocks. That was... Eight to... Two of those, 16 of those. Uh, 
And that should do it. Aha! Yep, I'm starting to memorize the recipe now. But more importantly, with 16 of these, I can create a few more of these. Let's see. Light engineering. Yeah. So... Then 16 more of these. And... 4 and 12. I need to make more iron already. Oh boy. I would say that there's an iron pinch, but we technically have unlimited iron at the moment. All it takes is a trip to the abyss. And it's... That pickaxe is starting to bother me, so... Eh, let's repair all our tools. And honestly, I should probably queue up another, uh, another bit of hard carbon, just because I'm running a bit low. Yeah. So that would be a stack of coal and 16 diamonds. Need more diamonds. <laughs> Everything is stuck in block form. Oh. Oh, okay. So the ironclad anvil cannot break up a diamond. That's good to know. Can I melt diamond? Yeah. Okay. That'd be 20. Is that 18 diamond? And that would require 40 plus. It's a stack of dough. Yeah. That would require eight more charcoal. Yes. Mental math always fails you when you're on the point in front of an audience, doesn't it? Well, oh, I can't melt that diamond. Well, we need to make a granite anvil. Entirely for the purposes of uh, crushing diamonds, it seems. Yeah. Well, it's an easy craft, at least. We won't make more than one of these just because... It's a super rare thing that if, if I just need it for crushing diamonds, then we don't need it all that frequently. Let's just have it out for the sake of having it. And there we go. All right, so back to making the light engineering blocks. All right, so that's going to require 16 of those. And that's going to require yeah, three, six, 12 of those. There we go. Oof. It feels bad not crafting things by the stack like I was with glue at the end there. Right, so let's get rid of these. Just, I don't know, somewhere. Ah, we have some up there. Cool. <sighs> we'll reach that point again, eventually. Eventually. We'll, we'll scale up. We'll have to. Hmm. That probably just won't be done by hand. That'll be done by machine, I guess. But anyway, yes, piston. So, four per. So, I need 12. And nine. Nine. 
and boop. Good. So with that, I can start on my heavy engineering blocks. Just need four of those, five Electrum. Did I make... I didn't make sufficient Electrum. I don't have sufficient silver, so I'm going to have to hunt down some some uh, Galena patches. I think that's where you get silver from. So can I get a Prospector's pick to look for the Geolysis? Yeah, that's not too hard. Uh, you, you might have noticed sometimes on the ground, there's these little um, ore indicators, ore or um, deposit things. Well, those are an indicator that somewhere in the area there is a little bit of a uh, geolysis mother load. Geolosis. And that means that uh, if you search around with the pick and you dig around in the ground, you'll eventually be able to find a nice big chunk of minerals. The Prospector's Pick is a tool for helping out with that. All right. Well, good thing that we... Let's do the Electrum first. It would cast faster. There we go. And from there... I think I have everything I need. No, not this. Okay, so two, four, six, eight, and four steel components. Hmm. Uses more steel ingots than steel mechanical parts. Maybe I should. Uh, maybe I should melt down some of my steel plate into steel ingot once more, just so that I can. Because it seems that I use those more than components. What are the steel me mechanical components used for? All in all. That, that, yeah. So I mostly need steel ingot. I need it as bar stock. But there is our first heavy engineering blocks got. And with that, it just wants us to work up to the sturdy casing, okay. The quest order seems a little bit wonked here, like, it, well, okay. Ah, it's dependent three ways. So what does it take to make a kinetic dynamo anyway? If you aren't just stealing one. It makes uh, requires a lot of steel. I'll tell you that. A lot of blocks of steel. Oh boy. It's mostly those copper blocks, which is not too bad. Yeah, how, how would I make LV coil right now? I need the yeah, stick or treated stick. That's good to know. That's easy. You done yet? Not yet. Okay. Well, let's keep on working up to our... Uh, I guess I should... There and then there. Yes. Sturdy casing is our next goal. And honestly, we're most of the way there. We just need to melt down some of our bronze gears. Or alloy some <laughs> pardon me that got me before i could hit the pause button oh dear brain is trying to escape mm. Ugh. did you stop for some reason no it just casts hard carbon super slow very glad i've automated it well I guess okay, so that'd be four blocks worth. Yeah, and then we need one, two, three, four more. How long is that gonna take to melt down? Will our hard carbon be done first? Yeah, it will. Okay, so let's pause that. Let's cast out the blocks of bronze first and then just let everything else pour. 
Hmm. Maybe the cap needs to be a little bit more optimally shaped. Maybe. Maybe. There we are. One block of bronze. Gloop, gloop, gloop. Yes, bronze is a very simple alloy. It's just, uh, I believe it's copper and tin at three to one. Yeah. And tin is easy enough to find, but if we have bronze just laying around in forms of gears that aren't used too frequently, we might as well just use it. I guess we can start. Yeah, I'm going to smelt some of this back into bar stock. The rest of this, we are definitely going to need all the mechanical components, all the metal iron mechanical components that we can get our grubby mitts on, though. Because we are just bleeding through them rapidly. And I think that's a problem that is only going to increase over time. Yeah, nothing in here is going to alloy with anything else. At least the bronze blocks solidify really quickly. That is real quick for blocks. That's like, that's roughly, I think the hard carbon ing ingots are solidifying slower than that. Okay, so now let's get our smeltery in order. Let's do steel. Yeah, so bronze, then steel, then the hard carbon. Cast it all out. Huh, they have no weight. Neat. And what else am I going to need? One hard, one heavy, four red, four light. I should have been doing that while this is happening. I don't have the copper gears for it. Well, I could at least make the lights. That's... No, I can't make the lights. Because that is, in fact, what I need the gears for. Well, I could at least more, make more reds. That's something I could do. No, I don't have the redstone for it. Oh, boy. We need to do a mining trip. <laughs> Ain't that just how life goes? Okay, let's do a mining trip. Let us go once more into the abyss. Uh, let's grab some glowstone and then go into the abyss. There we are. And now let's keep F7 mode on. Wait, do I have my hammer on me? Shoot, I don't have my hammer on me. Oh well, we'll do kind of a sucky mining trip, I guess. Hmm. You think I should build a, a tunnel from the abyss portal to this portal? Make the trip easier than this? This is a pretty easy trip. Am I wearing the fancy pants? Yeah, I guess I am. That's why I'm moving so slow. Eh, we'll need them anyway. I probably don't need to have that upper shelf air pocket marked anymore. Okay.
Yep. Even moving slower, those those puffer fish just they can't deal. They can't even. So let's just find a nice flat slab of wall. This looks nice. And let's just carve our way right in there. Goodness. Overweight already? Because Prismarine is super heavy. No, iron blocks, where are you? Redstone blocks, where are you? I gotta say, making Prismarine weigh so much is a bit of a dick move. But that's only to be expected, I suppose. Yeah. Especially when I'm carrying heavy glowstone around. That was a bad move on my part. And forgetting the hammer was a bad move on my part. Ah, a nice vein of iron, at least. Let's just fill up our hot bar. Make the fancy pants a little easier to use. There we are. Good, nice stack of iron blocks. Not literally a stack, probably. Well, maybe. It is quite a few. Yeah, we're closing in. Okay. Honestly, I'm not quite sure why I was thinking to keep Prismarine. I guess it's a bit dull constantly hitting the trash can over and over. Fancy pants or less button hits, maybe. Maybe that's where my mind was going. Who knows? Hmm. Having real bad luck on the redstone front, and that's what I'm here for. So let's... Honestly, let's go back out into the corridor and let's just try and find some redstone just visible already. That seems like a reasonable plan. Yeah, get some of the easy stuff first. Maybe we'll find a nice big collection of it somewhere. Like, for example, that's more like it. You know, with the waterway kind of pushing us along, we can still maintain movement even when we're horrendously overburdened. Wet mining. It's only a thing in Journey Beyond the Abyss, but it is in fact a thing. Yeah, 
Okay, so I think that's about the end of that easy vein of redstone. And possibly the beginning of this one. Or possibly not. Hmm. I guess this is why I wanted the glowstone on my inventory bar. But that got passed up in the end. Just because it's so inconvenient. Having things that actually weigh a ton. Alright. A little bit more. I think I'd like at least a stack of redstone blocks. And we are getting there. Okay, something else. Give me another nice, easy, visible vein. It was very stupid of me to forget the hammer. It would make just digging out a wall much easier. If I had the appropriate tools on me. Let's, uh, let's remove that shameful past of ours. We're past that now. Ah, here we are. That's what I like to see. You know, let's... there. Okay. I think that's enough to call this a good trip. And yeah, I'm just gonna teleport out. No shame in it. It's allowed. Dehydrates the heck out of us, but that's just life. Apparently. So these things. Hmm. Huh. So do I have any uses for just straight-up netherrack other than nether brick? Hmm, can make soul sand once we have a carpenter. Would be useful as part of that version of pit burning. As well as making magma muds and stuff like that. Bees. Ugh. Hmm. I'll have to look into some of this stuff. But yeah, we might as well. We might as well start a netherrack collection. Eh. Let's just agglomerate some of the cobble if we can. There we go. And throw that out. Okay, redstone. More redstone. Iron. Return the glowstone. Why do I have a torch on there? You go away. And that's our mining trip done. Now let's just make a nice big pile of redstone dust. You know. Yeah, this will be our decadence for the day. Before and eight, and I think it's twelve glue, as well as a piece of iron to make a chest. And from there. 
to make a hopper. Five pieces of wood, two, and a glue. There we go. Two of those. Five more pieces of wood. Wrong workshop. There we go. And now, with that, I'll have to move the compacting bin. Just put that there. Then I should be able to dupe. No? Will you know? But where you go? Aw. Does it have to be on top? It's just incompatible. That's depressing. I could swear I remember using a hopper on these things. Is it only the granite? No, it's just incompatible. Damn. Oh well, we have a spare hopper. I tried. I tried for a little bit of minor convenience. But it was not to be. Oh well. Yes, isn't that a lovely amount of dust? And then I should be able to take... I'm out of copper ingots. Except I'm not. Let's just keep our U's and ingots stocked up. And... yeah, that's eight per... So, to make a stack of... No, wait. Yeah, that would be nine. Yeah, 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 that, that's right. So then I would need 72 iron. Yeah, this is the kind of thing you need to do if you want to try and build in bulk at this point. Th these are the amounts of things that you need to be carrying around. Oh boy. And I think it should be the same amount. No, it should be four per. So I just need 36 of these. And that should be enough for nine crafts, right? Exactly so. Well, that's a nice, a comfy amount of redstone engineering blocks. And our smeltery should be done-ish with pouring stuff out by now. Good. Wait, did I leave that on? At least it didn't mess things up. Yeah, by the looks of things, it didn't. Okay, so... With these... Then I should... Let's put this in our using chest. Yes, and this, and this... And... Where are the pistons? Pistons are what I want, right? No, heavy engineering block. Ah, but I still need four more, uh, I still need two more light engineering blocks, so I'm a little bit premature here. Let's just put this and this over there. So, to make two more light engineering blocks... Well, I guess I'd only technically need one, but I still need more copper gears. Uh, yeah, let's raid another ship. Let's raid another ship. Let's find another ship on the map first. I don't think I've run across many of those sailboats. That one will do.
Oh boy. Yeah, definitely need to work my way up to that excavator and start getting my copper automated. I'm going to want copper ingots, copper gears automated. That will make this grind a whole lot easier. Hmm. You know, um, I've seen a couple of sources of liquid iron. That would make iron somewhat automatable. Coal for steel, though. Hmm. How to make steel automatable? I suppose that mass production of steel won't be possible until we start building an arc furnace. I'll have to check in the book what an arc furnace takes. I know it's a lot of steel blocks. And a lot of engineering blocks and just a lot. The arc furnace is high tier for a reason, and it's pretty much going to require a diesel generator to run. But I think, is an arc furnace even on the list of required machines? No, but in my opinion, it will be necessary, and it'll probably be necessary fairly early just to produce the amounts of steel we're going to need. At least not without vastly expanding our coal industry. Well, expanding the charcoal industry is also easily possible. I'm mining out the wrong blocks, aren't I? Yeah, I want to mine these out. Expanding the charcoal industry is easily possible, and it's something I should do anyway. But I think that an arc furnace would be more easily automatable. Like, I'm not sure what the recipe for steel in an arc furnace is. It's just steel and coke, or iron and coke dust, or steel grit, which I believe is just pulverized steel. So then I would need to automate coke, which, hmm. Well, if I'm automating coke anyway, then I could just be doing it in a blast furnace, because that would still be one coke per one steel. Just, that's what the recipe would be. Yeah, so instead of an arc furnace, I would need to, uh, I would need to automate some coke ovens. I would need to find a coke, uh, coal vein, excavate it, get it into a bunch of coke ovens, if coke ovens are even compatible with hoppers and whatnot, or conveyor belts or whatever I end up using. do something to get rid of the creosote oil as it comes out. Probably put it into a big tank and ultimately ultimately uh, once the tank is full, send it to like a buildcraft void pipe maybe. Then get that coke just to blast furnaces. Probably a couple of blast furnaces. Running with preheaters, of course. Yeah, that might be a, a doable industry, but... Again, that's kind of a chicken and egg problem there, isn't it? Because that comes after we already have an excavator going. Hmm. Okay, let's give that a try. See if we've made the area safe while we were pontificating. Yep, yeah, that's sufficient. No, that wasn't sufficient. Need to go a little bit further. Still haven't figured out what quite the spawn range here in here is. I don't know where to look in the config files. Uh, 
Okay, this is looking good. Yes. And it looks like flooding this level really did fantastically for eliminating spawnable space. It's going to make it a bit hellacious to mine, though. Hmm. Or will it? Maybe since everything is pushing towards the south, it'll just mean that I only have to pick up in one area. That would be really convenient. So, how's the next deck looking? Could be better. Could be worse. There we are. And that should be sufficient for our purposes in the meantime. Now let's get to looting. All right. Beautiful, tasty loot boxes. Mm. I can feel the dopamine flowing. What's going to be in the next one? You never know. out of there. Doop. And just right on up to the next level. If nothing else, I'm building up a really nice stock of golden apples. If I'm ever forced into another combat situation, well, I guess I would want the glowy notch apples optimally, but you can't always get what you want. That's a bizarre little bit of uh, fluid mechanics happening there. Oh, this is really convenient because it's flooded. I can continually keep on moving even when I'm overweight. Yeah, this is actually working out as a strategy that I've accidentally discovered, I think. Excellent. Accidental strategies are my favorite strategies. Alright. I haven't seen a whole lot of copper gears. The system is not cooperating with me. No, it really isn't. So much bronze. I wish I could de-alloy metals, but sadly you can't unscramble an egg. Not without really advanced molecular furnaces or whatever. I guess maybe the alchemistry mod could do it. If it's compatible with alchemistry. That's a mod that essentially allows you to uh, break things down to their uh, atomic components and then reassemble resources out of them. I imagine that bronze is an old enough resource that it's probably compatible. But yes, let's just uh, mark this ship by destroying some of its boxing. That's good enough. And let us away into the supernatural sunrise just for the sake of a nice image. Yes, it seems that if I'm dehydrated, I'll lose my sprint. Hmm. Well, I guess if you can't sweat, you're really going to have trouble running and moving and stuff like that. Uh, 
Alright. Let's check in on the village, see what they're doing. I don't think I've checked in on them today. Ah, they've completed the moat and they've got a couple new couple new dark spots for me to fill in. As they tend to. Especially in a large project like this. Yes, yes, I know that you don't want it, but the Great Enlightenment must continue. I can't allow you to be barbarians, I'm sorry. There we go. That's nice and fixed. Don't you feel better now? There's probably more on the roof, isn't there? Come on, game. Ah, no. They left the roof intact. Bizarre. They changed every block of the fort except for those. Neat. Yeah, they need a bit of iron. For what? Ah, upgrading the fort? Okay, I'll support that endeavor. Eh, I guess I don't really need to flip windows anymore, do I? I can do it more on an uh, industrial scale. Yeah. Really, at this point, advancing the village is more just, just for prestige. I don't think there's really any mechanical reason that I would want to, other than just saying I have a fully upgraded village. And prestige points is honestly a good enough reason. So let's let's bring them a little bit of iron. We have some to spare. Am I still getting pollution buildup? Is it phasing through? Let me put something on top of my pollution filter just to completely block it off and ensure that nothing ever phases through it. Because, yeah, that's... potentially a problem. Pollution is getting through it anyway. Hmm. I mean, it's obviously catching quite a lot of pollution. Hmm. I'll have to see if the cloud gradually dis... Maybe I should lay out, like, some farm blocks with some crops just to soak up what's in the sky right now. Oh, and these coins, I honestly don't care. The rest of the coins, though, that's possibly worth it. I w Is there any way to... No, it's just... It's just this. That's an, that's really clunky and slow and annoying. And other bad words make you feel bad. If nothing else, I have a lovely collection of tin that I can melt from those things. So if I just get a, a large collection of raw copper from any one source, like if I hit another ship, I could make some more bronze if I need to just from those. But no, I think I've got a lovely stock of bronze built up just in its raw copper that I'm going to need a lot of. Speaking of, yeah, let's always keep some light engineering blocks in stock. So let's make two crafts of it now. Uh, six and four and sixteen. What? 
four. Twelve. That'll do it, I think. There we go. With even one copper too many. Oops. Okay, so back to the task at hand. Yeah, four of those, four of those, one of those. And then it's just my 12 of bronze. And the four blocks. And that'll get us our first sturdy casing. Ooh. And with that, that'll let us finally acknowledge that we in fact stole one of these. Which will give us even more things to use them with. Ooh. Yeah, both these water wheels and windmills will use the kinetic dynamo. Uh, only one windmill per kinetic dynamo that I know of. But you can have up to three water wheels on it. And I think a triple water wheel generates more than a windmill, but a windmill generates more than a single water wheel. Or even a double, I think. And what do those... Windmills and water meals, blah, 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 words. Takes treated wood, and treated wood is going to require the carpenter. So, yes, it's giving me these a little bit ahead of time, as well as the water wheel. Uh, yeah, that's a bunch of those segments. That's also going to require a bunch of treated wood. So, yeah. I think that if we didn't get those as a quest reward, we would necessarily have to steal our first uh, our first windmill in order to bootstrap ourselves up. Huh. The carpenter is dependent on generator blocks? But it's not. That's bizarre. In any case, what does a generator block take? A generator block is expensive. Oof. Oof. Tasmic. Yeah, which already requires lots of steel. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to need to make that blast furnace industry I was rambling about. But honestly, I think that that will wait until after the carpenter. Honestly, that'll probably wait for a little while. Hmm. Okay, well, I think we've made a solid chunk of progress today, so I'm going to call it a night here. It's getting it's getting a little bit late for me. So, uh, yep, you all have yourselves a lovely evening. I will be considering the problem of just more. How do we achieve more? I'll see you then.